cost and your role as the EDS. Um, what have you seen as, uh, okay, in your opinion, what can you, how can you rate the involvement of women in issues of trade and economic growth? Are they also being as involved as men are? And if not, what do you think we could do to actually make sure that women are also empowered to participate in trade activities in the region? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very good question and a very important question. Uh, and it has different uh, aspects to it. One, at the policy level, uh, the policy makers and the role of women in that. And I'm proud to say that at the Secretariat, for example, uh, we have uh, a high ratio of women who obviously I will be looking at as policy makers. And uh, we are proud to actually uh, say that as an institution, uh, there's a clear uh, representation in terms of gender. But also bringing it down to the real issue that you ask, I think it's important that uh, women uh, traders uh, do take part in, in First of all, women entrepreneurs uh, look at how best they can position themselves to, to enter into or engage in activities that will lead to you know, them contributing or being part of the uh, continental free trade area. And so um, it then starts at the national level as well. How is it that women are encouraged to actually take part in, 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 in this, uh, in this uh, you know, engagements or in this arrangement that are in place, but also from the rules processes, uh, because if you think most of the uh, cross-border traders generally tend to be women, and so what is it that we need to do to make sure that we simplify the rules mm -hmm. for them to take advantage? Mm -hmm. And I think in our trade facilitation agenda, that is an aspect that we need to look at mm -hmm. also. But generally, I think there's a greater scope for women, certainly, and uh, we want to encourage women traders to make sure that they take advantage of uh, these uh, agreements uh, and for them to really then also make sure that they, they make a mark in, in the uh, frameworks that are put in place to benefit everyone and not just men. Okay. Well, lastly, as we conclude, now uh, you mentioned that in SACU there are a lot of women also uh, having this uh, post, you know, uh, which means they uh, they actually cover more posts compared to the lower label. Now, uh, my, my my other question, my last question, would be that um, for some people who are looking out, there are people who are actually probably you know ad admiring you and looking up to you and say, okay, one day I'm going to become like her. Um, what can you advise them, considering that our society in the region, as much as you might want to avoid it, it's somehow male-dominated. So what can be your key message to such people to encourage them to make sure that they also get empowered and they be bold enough to make such decisions, take such posts? Mm. I, I would say, one, uh, you, can, you can do it. Women, we can do it. Uh, I'm a good example of that. But also it's a question of uh, believing in yourself and following your dreams. We must have ambitions uh, and really follow through on those ambitions. And only when we do that can we reach uh, higher levels and reach our dreams. But uh, it can be done. Women can, can occupy leadership roles. Women can actually influence uh, decisions. And uh, women can lead. Uh, and uh, I would encourage women, young women especially, to really follow their dreams. But it comes with hard work as well. Hard work, commitment. Uh, if you have that and you are very clear in terms of what you need to achieve, and also paying attention and, and taking your education seriously. Uh, with education, education opens up opportunities. Uh, and if you, if one doesn't have that, or where you have an opportunity and you really don't make the most of it, you'll just uh, basically close the doors for yourself. So, education, having a passion for what you do having dreams and following through with your dreams and ambitions. Wow, thank you so much. That will be all as well. And thank, I you. thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions in regards to the dialogue, feel free to email me at sharingsoutherntimesafrica.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us. Thank you so much for watching.